Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven, and today I got the boss man himself. I got Shadow Play Red with me. How's it going today, brother? Hey, going quite well. Going quite well. Just getting the morning started. Some off days, playing some Gwent, hanging out with you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we we appreciate you, man. We appreciate all that you do behind the scenes. A lot of people don't know, uh, you know, everything it takes to to keep TLG's wheels a moving, and uh, we we appreciate you, brother. We um, well, that it, if I wouldn't be able to do it without uh, the team, without uh, the guys help leading the team with me. Beardy's a competitive uh, master, and uh, uh, Wasubi being a, a memer, but he's still probably the best content manager in the game right now. So, Absolutely. Uh, I, I hear that keyboard know. slamming every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be, but, he'll be yeah. talking to me, and I just hear, shh. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, Your keyboard's he is, on fire. Uh, he ruined, him and Beardy both ruin keyboards, but for different reasons. Wasubi uh, uh, likes to just to slam his fingers down on them, and Beardy likes to break them in yeah. qualifiers. So. <laughs> yeah, all, all them damn snipers, they, they piss them off. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, the Hensel yeah. list, who came up with this? Okay, so Hens Alt List. Um, this is a list that in day one I was chatting with the boys, uh, but, you know, just talking about the cards and, you know, what we were seeing, uh, what was strong and whatnot. And uh, me and Green Knight kind of got into a conversation, and at first I started to build a demo event deck, but me and him got to talking, and the good point that he made is Demavend is still garbage, if you think about it, compared to, like, the rest of the leaders. He's just, he's not that great. He gets, you get to give charges, but it's what, I think you have to wait every two turns. So, you're really getting more value out of the other leaders with, well, the other three leaders uh, that are pretty good with Northern Realms right now. Faultist, of course, everybody's playing. Um, Queen Calanth is being played more, um, I think, uh, you know, starting to see it here and there. People are trying to, like, do something with her. Um, I believe last night Beardy and Bowman uh, had a stream playing her pretty much most of the stream, so that was actually very interesting. If y'all haven't watched the VOD, I'd highly <laughs> it, uh, encourage you to. But I wanted to do something different, so I said, why not Hensalt, right? It's not Demo Vendus, so it's let's do Hensalt. So, like, started talking about it, and one of the cards that kept uh, uh, like jumping out at us with Citrian Royal Guard. Okay, now this card is basically I, I, I can't remember the exact text uh, to Rebert Hunters um, back before they were pulled with with uh, all of Redania. And um, this I think, reminds it, I think me it was boost three for every one you could pull, but there was so many I, more ways to pull them. Oh, yeah, you could, like, you just could vomit them out, right? Like, just all over the board. And uh, this is very similar to that uh, mechanic. Now, these cards, they boost by three for every one that's on the board. So, your first card is just going to be, you know, a, just a, you know, a, a four for five, right? Um, but it's allowing things to, to, to kind of run it out of control so you do that really the wombo combo i guess you could say was would be adelia into uh citrian royal guard and then uh using your hensalt charge to pull the second royal guard and then hopefully what you have in hand is another one of those and reinforcements and then you would reinforcement the next time and then finish it off by playing the last one straight out of hand. Uh, so, what you're looking at is Adelia into four-point guard, into Hensalt ten. into ten-point guard, um, reinforcements into ten-point guard, uh, guard from hand, 13 points. So, yeah. you're looking at a lot of points. So, this deck has other ways of really establishing dominance, but if you hold just that combo for a like shorter, maybe a shorter uh, like five, maybe five or six card uh, round three, you're really favored to get some points out of it. Most of the time, though, you're going to have a longer round uh, 
you know, maybe a moderately one in the beginning, maybe a longer one in the end, so you need other pieces to the puzzle. My other favorite card from this deck, hands down, I think we talked about it, was Tamarian Drummer. Oh, yeah. This card it, it has... The, the changes that was made to it reminds me of Northern Realms of Alt, right? It reminds me of... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, Redanian Knight Elect? Yeah. And how Redanian Knight Elect is, it would uh, boost as long as it... Uh, I believe was it as long as it had a shield on it? Yeah. That it boosted the two to the either side? But it was an engine. What, what my point is is that it was an engine card. And it, we like I love engine cards in, in Northern Realms. They like really, really, really uh, just... Uh, get the the excitement going at me. I almost like sport wood just thinking about what uh, <laughs> you know the points that we got here. So uh, another thing too is you you of course have portal in your deck. Portal pulls multiple great options. Okay, now you might think portal pulling Kadewani Sergeant. Eh, well, that's not great. Most of the time, this is my experience with RNG is you usually have a sergeant in your hand pretty early. So if you're needing to establish dominance in the, in the first round, um, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility to play Portal, and uh, you'll most likely draw out a knight, which those knights are fantastic. They're also Hensalt targets as well. Um, you know, uh, they pull out a Tritum. If you don't, for some reason, get a Tritum and you have a bunch of boosty options in your hand, you're like, oh, where do I get my Tritum? Portal's really great for all that. Right. But it's all about, like, deciding where you're at. On red coin, I probably wouldn't extend too, too many uh, win cons unless you feel really comfortable with your hand and, and saying that you can actually win on even. Um, there is a point that you want to get out without expending too, too many options. And, you know, we'll go through that later when we run through, run through some games. Um, you know, the other great cards in this deck, I'm not, uh, you know, Kira Metz is probably on the, the nerf block if I'm, a uh, you know, uh, like I might be, you know, overstepping it because Slama did say they weren't going to get in the habit of, uh, nerfing, of nerfing yeah. cards that they wanted to bring the other factions up. So that's what they would be working on mostly. So I'm thinking there's, it's more 60, maybe 70, 30 that she's going to get touched. If she does get touched, the thing about this deck is that we could actually see it become much, much stronger as the the meta goes on this uh, you know this season. I don't think that it's going to ever be like that tier one OP OP deck, but it could definitely be be a strong tier two, um, you know, if the meta you know sets right. Yeah. Um, one of the things <laughs> is this deck just really outperforms Croc. Um, it's uh, prevents their bloodthirst in a lot of instances um it, it hemorrhages way more way more points so you you tend to be able to get out of these matchups a little bit better um uh, you know uh, more so than of course if you face dj or faultist and dj or faultist dj's gonna be your your worst matchup i would say yeah, it's uh, a lot of points. Really, there's really no way of removing the townsfolk. Um, uh, it, it, it's it's it, like really syndicate is going to be somewhat difficult. I would say that for sure that DJ is very very difficult. Um, Foltest, it's basically your your hands are in the RNG gods, right? If they don't draw all their pieces, then uh, you win. You're right. If, you they draw their pieces most likely you lose unless you can get that first round win and 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 bleed them proper um but yeah like but you know you got several different great cards like, uh, other great cards in this deck anna stringer her new changes uh, i'm really really liking she at least boosts one card to the to the right if you somehow get a you know a drummer on board beside your uh try to uh, infantry you can throw her in the middle and she immediately gets value by being boosted up so she gets boosted up immediately boosts both sides so that's you know something that you could definitely work on um kira metz like i said she's very very strong in that boost option now uh another card that we put in here that is a favorite of green knights and uh, and i think is it, it you know it's a good card and it has you know some different definite 
positives with it is Bloody Baron. And I think Bloody Baron, you know, if you play him at the right point and play him in the back row, um, you not only get a reset, but you also get some, uh, you know, uh, some bleeding out of it. So, um, you know, uh, you definitely want to uh, get as much value out of him as possible when can't when you can. And that's same with Visigard, okay? Visigard, you want to get as much value out of as well. I'm not. Uh, you want to make sure that you have enough units. You play him in a round that you have enough units that are boosted to get you know value out of him. You know, there are instances where you play him for a little bit less value, but that's really situational. You yeah. know, uh, and if you don't want to uh, dump all your all your boosts from Nanaki into a Tritum, you can you know shuffle hers around yeah, to get the boosts. Yeah, spread them out. Spread them out if you can. Like if there's no Tritum on and you're stuck with her and you got some cards. You know, like versus Croc, it's a way, you know, Nenaki could be a, an easy way of, uh, you know, also answering uh, Bloodthirst, you know, but uh, she's definitely, you know, uh, you're, you definitely want to try to keep her in tandem with, uh, uh, with your uh, TIs, with your Temerian Infantrymen, uh, I mean, not Temerian, with a uh, Tritum Infantrymen. Uh, so the 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 last cards that like that we saw changes to, which is actually a really good thinning option, and we'll go back to the bronzes with the dun banners. Um, good thing about that, you know, dun banners, of course, is going to be like anything that you're you're going to summon out of your deck. You know, it is uh, that you know you have to do something to like uh, uh, what is it, foglet? Yeah, or shield. Uh, There's like shield maidens. You, yeah, yeah. So that you know, there is a risk that you're going to, you know, if you play one, you know, straight up, that you're going to end up leaving yourself, you know, with a uh, with a dead card in hand. Right. But so it's really good to play those in a situation like, you say, you have a, you know, try to infantry down and uh, at a drum a drummer uh, going, you uh, throw those in between and. You know, it summons the other one out. Good thing about Dun Banners, if you have it in your hand and you're on blue coin, you can drop him, TA that, and then it automatically brings the second card out. So you're getting a little bit more value with the TA as you're able to thin your deck right. from the get-go. Yeah, um, yeah, but that's, uh, that's a good overview of it, pretty much. Uh, yeah. If, if you want to go really greedy and you don't like uh, Bloody Baron or Kira Metz, you can always throw this guy in here. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, listen, there is, there, like, if you want to go full greed, if it gets to that point where you're seeing, like, no control whatsoever, you know, and you just want to say the, the hell with it, you know, and go full, full greed, yeah, there is a, a, a thought pattern in Operator. And, you know, me and Green Knight, we chatted about it, but it's just that's it's just in my opinion, it's too much. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that. Um, well, it does keep them know, from spawning one extra townsfolk, right? If you uh, put it on the back row where Igor is, I mean, I guess they can yeah, play around it, but. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I think that, like, I, I just don't think it's the, it, the value there. It, you're talking about. Um, you're giving your opponent four points, but then you're possibly getting, what, a, a 17 at the end, maybe? Or 13? 16, 16 at the end. If you get a ball out, your last last one would be 13. So if you were to copy one more, then you would get it to 16. So, you know, yeah, like, like I guess in the long-term value that it would probably be there, but how often are you going to get all those pieces, <laughs> right? Like that's what you got to think. Hey, well, they, how often do you get get all those pieces? And I just it. don't think that you get it often enough to that, consider operating. That's that's what the dandelion shows for. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, I think I think that's the deck, and it's it's it, it's fun. Like I said, if anything, it's it's just a change. If you want to play something that's different from Northern Realms, something that is uh, you know a lot of fun to play and is you know pretty decent I, mean, I would say it's above decent you know uh, as far as the deck me and my teammate uh uh yanksy uh we we both lost our league matches yesterday but we did win our matches with Henzalt. so um you know it, it it's definitely a fun deck and it is uh it does have quite a bit of win cons to it yeah um and then what's uh what's coming up with the website anything uh 
Well, I think uh, we, it, you know, it, I know everybody is always eager about our meta report. We are taking that a little slower this time, uh, this that this season, just because uh, there is most likely a hot fix coming up next week, um, I, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me. Um, but you know, it, 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 the thing is, is you, you, we really don't know what those hot fixes are going to be yet. Once the hot fix drops, uh, we'll be able to see how the decks, uh, you know, uh, shake out, uh, shake up, and and then we can start to put together a meta report. This week, um, I Season. think we're going to start working on updating a few things for our newcomers, um, our crafting guide, and our budget decks. We will be working on those a bit. Uh, in the upcoming week, and then uh, we will probably be dropping some sort of deck guides over the upcoming week until we uh, get the meta report ready. So be looking out for uh, the, the you know jump on the site. Um, we are doing some constant work to it to speed it up and make it a lot more user friendly for the community. So uh, you know for all of y'all that comment on Reddit that comment uh you know in discord shoot me a message uh we hear what you're saying and we are doing everything we can to cater to you at community so feel free to pop by anytime check us out yeah absolutely uh here's a couple games guys uh, make sure you check out teamleviathangaming.com for all your gwent needs we will see you at the end damage options but yeah, but DJ is just gonna like you know wreck Croc. you. And then, <laughs> this is good. Croc's actually a good matchup, right? Croc, Cro Croc's a good matchup as you have a lot of boosting units, so he, he doesn't get bloodthirst off. Do you want them both in your hand like this? No. So you want to get rid of Dun Banner first, and then one of those. Yeah. Without that, you don't want both in your hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, so this is a guy that is praying to play Syndicate because this is bugged. Right? Isn't it still bugged, the ship? Is Whereas it? if you, uh, if you uh, ping it, uh, it pings back or something. Like, if that's what the, why most people are playing it like right now because they're just bug abusers. <laughs> so we're probably just going to get out of this round when we can. So what I would do is hold on to key cards to try to get rid of, like, uh, so put down a sergeant. Man. Yeah, or, yeah, that first and then a sergeant. Back to the ghost lengths you can! You it? Yeah, why not? You're not going to ever get it up because he just uh, tanged it or, or pinged it. Um, you know, there is, you know like logic and holding on to some of your uh, you know your uh hens alt targets but you know you're never gonna get what you want shit. out of this yeah he he's looking to i would go ahead and put down uh uh sergeant yeah sergeant <laughs> I wouldn't use the ping, you know, if he wants to destroy two one-point units, and he can destroy two one-point units. Yeah, I figured we could maybe get the Dun Banners Okay, good. Out. Yeah, you get, you're definitely going to be able to get them out now, so... Oh, yeah, or, actually, you won't be able to, because it's too damn... Uh, it, oh, <laughs> when it gets boosted, okay. Yeah, right. it's only when it's boosted. I thought it had to be boosted all the way. I was just thinking, I was like, wait a second, does it have to be boosted? Yeah, go ahead and just use it the hell with it, right? Yeah, he's just going to play a pirate. Uh -huh. At least we got Thanning done. He's going to play something here, and then we just get out. There's, there's nothing really we want to spend. <laughs> Thank I'm a beer. So we're out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only 5,000. Double long ships. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, we don't want that in hand ever. No, definitely not in hand. So we could get rid of that in the Citrian. Yeah, that works. There we go. So now, do you think he'll bleed us? I mean, he could. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what he plays first. That'll be like an indicator if he's going to just like throw some trash cards out, or if he's 
Okay, so that right there is uh, something that I wouldn't just toss out, right? Like, if that was in my hand and all the rest of my cards were good, I would just take the mulligans in round three, so there is a good chance that most likely going to push here. So let's just te test the waters. Let's just go ahead and drop, uh, yeah, Sergeant down first. Stand we'll see what he does. Fight. If he wants to ping that away with three pings, then the, you do. Know, so be it, right? Right. We'll see what he plays here. No time to lose. Well, that seems odd. That seems very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so we just play one uh, drummer. So the, you 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 assume this guy is going to be bleeding. Okay, like he just played two good gold cards to be complete a complete papega, right? So we're gonna go to like I, I, I we just portal, huh? Or do we just play one drummer by itself? Play one drummer, yeah. Again. I'm just not a hundred percent sure I'm like willing to give up portal yet okay. unless he's like getting like saying later peace. All right. Wow, okay, good. So that's that's uh, real nice for us. So at this point we want we're gonna have to expend something that we don't want to expend and I think because there really isn't trying to think here. Neneki's what's going to do it. What's in our deck real quick? Well, we There might be like a... Oh, man. This is definitely awkward. Um, I w would say Neneki, yeah, but I really... It, it's like between her and Prince Antius would be the two that I would... Again. She's just so, so many points with Tridom. It's really, really sad. Like, it's super sad. Yeah. We're gonna have a ton though with Portal and these dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just with not having those. Maybe we could get Necromancy here. That would be like okay. Get rid of those last two for sure. Good. All right. So at least we got. So we go uh, Portal. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. Or do we go to Dahlia early? Yeah, because Citrian Royal Guard's five uh, five points, right? So let's not nah, let's just get. Or, I mean, five provisions. So let's um, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go with Portal. What we get? Two arms. Oh um, wow, that's uh, that's really nice, actually. If we can um, get, get this online, oh, look at this. Crock it out. Well, at least we got one in. Right. So let's go ahead and drop you yeah, our drummer boy. Army's wasted time for one like me. And if he goes to pinging that, like hitting it, like trying to destroy it, there may be a consideration con given what we have in hand. Oh, okay. Uh, Do we Kira now? Yeah, we have to. I think no, because he's gonna have something to damage it by, by to uh, uh, damage that drummer boy. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'm not. He's he's dead. Whatever. I'm not. You think you, you drop her now and you put that boost on her, right? Mm -hmm. What's gonna end up happening is they're gonna play something for two damage and it's just gonna die anyway. So we'll go ahead and play Anna, um, and uh, uh, Anna Strager. Yeah, in between. And, uh, she boosts. We'll hope that she boosts twice, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because he boosts her, and then now she boosts twice. I'm done. It, 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 you know, you don't want to waste. Like, see, now he's like, oh man, what do I do? Do I not deal with this, or do I champions yeah, charge? What? So now there's a likelihood. Um, all right, so we're going to Queen Adelia, and we're going to put her in between the Tridom and uh, 
Uh, yeah. Because we're hoping that our dude is going to jump out beside her. I don't know if he will or not, but I would say... Wait, don't we want to keep the Trident buffing? Yeah, but I'm just saying, I was, uh, I'm trying to keep, like, uh, I'm hoping that we have somehow another way. Okay, just go ahead, yeah, just go ahead and play her wherever. My great granddaughter will do great Thinking about, uh, trying to keep a soldier beside Tritum, so then, um, we get inspiration. Oh, I should have <laughs> used, uh, pencil, huh? Yeah, but I, mean, I don't know what he can... Um, remove that with shield with like I don't I don't know what he can yeah he doesn't have his leader thing okay well that was oh that's that's actually nice for us in a way so we just um, use our leader ability yeah hens uh, dude play oh. him to the left of drummer to yeah. the left of drummer yeah in between Queen Adelia just in case they destroy that drummer, you have uh, something that can play the other one. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, for sure. Just play it on the top. It's fine, so we don't have two tens there. This is still pinging. Oh yeah, which is weird. Like I think he's like needing bloodthirst, so that's why he hasn't destroyed it. He's got it here, but um, and there may be like a, a thought pattern. What's in our deck? We got rid of both sergeants, right? So there is a thought pattern in. Um, yeah, he's yeah, gonna have some. But he's gonna have some dead bloodthirst cards, I think. I think you're right. I bet he doesn't have many options. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, okay. So that he burned his Hjalmar. How does he kill Kira if we put it up? Oh, um, uh, what's it called? I'm not uh, uh, what's his I name? guess go ahead and drop Kira in between those two. We're gonna take a run. He can the, uh, uh, he can use what's this called? Uh, oh, the guy one day if he's damaged he destroys. That's a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't think it matters though. Just go ahead and play a daily in, but I mean uh, Kira in between both of them. We're just gonna uh, uh, grab our ankles and hope that uh, he doesn't have a way to. Like, or he decides that he's going to to risk, uh, you know, use a good card, you know, just to destroy the triumph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, that was it. Like, uh, like it really ruins crop. Yeah. Like, really, really ruins crop. But again, we were like, we were playing a real like papaga here. Like this guy, like playing <laughs> right. the cards he did in round two just to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Using. Uh, Using Svonridge like that was just not good. All right, let's try. You know, they don't draw their pieces. You know, if we had gotten out of, uh, you know, gotten some a couple decent cards, and of course this is, you know, Monka S. <laughs> giving us like every, uh, every like, leader that's, like, problematic, but... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The worst hand possible, right? We got red coin at least. We got necromancy. We can pull that trick again where we just play it. See if he kills it. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. We may just want to uh, uh, just play like what we can play and get out. Um, let's see here. Go ahead. Yes, I would lead off. With, uh, with Sergeant, if he plays, let him lock it. He's got the fancy usurper. Oh yeah, the golden armor usurper. Fancy smancy. You go, Guerrero. <laughs> you're not a, you're not a Mister No you Fun friend. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Such a terrible card, and only assholes run it. So, Guerrero nine thirteen <laughs> is a so we're just playing the bag. thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What a douchebag! <laughs> Those people that play Trey Hearn need to be slapped. They probably weren't spanked enough as children. <laughs> oh man, here we go, Stone. So he's, def so he's definitely. So he's definitely. 
shoot friend. We're here. just a meme and friend. We're just a meme and friend. We're playing clown cards. <laughs> clown cards have no removal. So I'm going to play that clown, clown, clown. All right. So, at the, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and use one of those. Charge that sucker up. Tell this guy he can suck it. <laughs> I wonder if he's got a soldier, too. That would kind of suck. Are you kidding me? Fuck. Oh, man. Yeah. Improvise. So he didn't have... So he has no ox in his hand. Uh, at this point, he is going to try to get out. Just screw it. Yeah, we're going to play drummer here. Left, right. He might have a uh, Regis. Right. Maybe. And if that's the case, uh... Pikeman? Really? Boy, that this would be perfect right here. Why did I draw both these damn cards? <sighs> Let's see what we got in deck. Alright, let's draw Prince. Let's pull him with the... I think we're gonna have to uh, like be wary of Leo. So if we're gonna stay in this, we're gonna... Where are we you going? know what? Let, let's pass. Let's pass. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if it's worth uh, pulling Prince to, to, you know, we pull Prince, he has some kind of weird lock in his hand, and then we've just wasted Prince for no reason. Right. Alright, so we got that. Let's get rid of uh, Dunbanner. We just uh, keep this, huh? Let's get rid of uh, Lyrian. Alright, cool. Now, will this guy bleed us? And does he have Dragon's Dream and all the other... We do have Necro... Wow, wow, wow. So he's going for it. So but nobody plays Summoning Circle right off if they're not going for it. So we immediately play uh, Portal. We're going to answer it right back. It, like, if we waste the card, we waste the card. But no uh, Goober ever uh, plays... Yeah, because if he does it out, if he do, if he passes right now, then uh, then he's gotten a card out of us. We've paid, got the card out of him. That's important. Yeah, plus two, he didn't thin. Then he's just like, oh man, why did I play uh, circle? Why did I push this guy off? <laughs> <laughs> so next, like week. now he now we'll know what if he's passing if he just drops some bullshit card. I shall be your eyes, my lord. Wow. So we, we duel that, huh? You don't even have to duel it. You just draw him, throw him in the front row and destroy it. Uh, Prince Antius. Just drop him in the front and, uh, and nuke it. I demand what a This is such a quick... If, 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 nobody deserves a GG. That plays <laughs> Wow! Summoning circle! Yeah, he, he just said, you know what? I'm gonna get a couple good cards out of him and He's I'm still got 11 him. cards in deck, though. Like... Yeah, I'm not... We still, good like, have plenty of points. Alright, so... Let's look in the deck real quick and see just how... Like, important... <sighs> there are two important cards. We got so one with Moral Decree, though. I would say this... Drop the Dun Banner. Yes. Yes. All right. That yeah, we're 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 holding. We're definitely holding. We here. can do we one more mulligan. Draw, uh, you don't want to draw the citri the other citrian guard. If you do, then uh, we're yeah. screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So where do we yeah, go the, first? Just play the first. Yeah. Let's just play. Uh, let's go ahead and play your uh, sergeant. Yep. I would have, uh, tend to agree. And we can necromancy a drummer, most likely. Okay. All right, so we are going to go ahead and go with drum. No, let's go ahead and go with that first, just in case he locks it. Yep. 
because we have another one in uh, the graveyard, so we can always play it. Neneke could kill that next turn. Possibly. She could, but if he has Leo, then he's just going to nuke that, right? True. So, what we're going to do is have to play this very, very... He's going super carefully. slow. Yeah, so let's play our back dude there. Uh, I mean, uh, our drummer now. Um, so let's go uh, necromancy. Uh, no, necromancy, yeah. We're playing the let's drummer. Yeah, yeah. Just put him in between there, yeah. Again, again. And what are we pulling with the Kree? Uh, Dahlia, right? Yeah, Dahlia for sure. That's our that's our girl. If he does have Dragon's Dream, all these shields are going to help out. Yeah, I'm not a guess if he is a true memer. There is a good chance that this guy is a uh, true memer. So now we're going to, the next turn, we're actually going to drop that uh, Lyrian dude in between Drummer and um, um, our boy. <sighs> I think we just got to wing it. We got to hope that he doesn't carry Leo. So we're playing it. Here. Play it, but yeah, just we're not in between. Nah, let's let's let it keep boosted. Just drop it wherever. Oh shit! Wow. So thirteen point shoot. Is he going for shoot charm? Going for destroy? He's going for damage. Yeah, he's gonna uh, nuke that dude. Nope, he got what, the boost. Which one did he pull? He which only one got, did he pull? He went night. Oh, he got damage. Why is he like holding it there? Oh! <laughs> All right. So yeah, Neneke for sure now. Yep. Getting right back up to where he was. Tell this dude to suck an egg. Do we really bump this one one time? Yeah. Seems yeah, right. Boom. So uh, but that'd be up to seven now. Boom. Like he really made a bonehead play there by not getting rid of Drummer. And he locks Drummer. So now we're going to uh, go with our girl. Get her in between. Right in between those two. Thank you. Well, he might have Vanimar. We probably might not want to bump that up. Play it here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We're just can. giving him a bigger Vanimar if he's got it. <laughs> I'm still really miffed that he took some of our cards. <laughs> That's that's what they do, man. That's that's how they they roll. That's that's yeah, the they're usurper just, life. They're dead. You know, I mean, you're already playing enough cancer as it is. <laughs> Why you gotta... So we play uh, just uh, the yeah. Play him in the back. It's fine. Fire! Try to get as much uh, value out of him as we can. He's gonna lose. Sometimes I've had. Him. Hmm. All right. Um, so we just hit the five, huh? One of the fives. Yeah, yeah. He might have soldiers. We don't want to give him better value. We also might want to just go ahead and play Bloody Baron next. Reset this. It's still gonna grow. Yeah. Though. Well, I'm not. But we'll be putting bleeding on it, right? Because it's in the back. Oh, I, that, yeah, that's what I was meaning. If you put it in the back, then it uh, gets oh, bleeding. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh. Uh, yeah, think... so, like, that's the, that's what I was meaning, is that we would just, like, basically oh, neutralize my God, are you the fact that... Me? So uh, now we had Dahlia. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah, like, uh, like we needed, like, the bleeding is something that we definitely want to uh, remember. Protect the queen! Because uh, it basically ne negates the growing of that uh, card, and if he also doesn't have anything that uh, you know sets it off, then you know we could actually get gain a point with it. I think we'll be okay. I don't think like, and I would put all the boosted cards on the front row. We definitely don't want to line up, but uh, give an option for him to like ping somehow and line up some stupid shit. So, what's he gonna play here? That's the question. 
uh, I mean, he can, like, I, I don't know what he could do to, to negate uh, our so boy. So we yeah, yeah, now, copy, right? yeah, for sure. Boom. So front row. Yep. And that'll be seven. Queen holds no audiences this day. And then the next one would be ten. Huh? Vanamar does it for him, I think. Yeah, like, well, yeah, that's the thing is I think that like the Baron the would have probably given us just a wee bit. Okay, well, let's see what we got. We'll be up uh, fifty-four to forty-four here. What brings you here? Ten points, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen points. Is he gonna mulligan it? He is. What he draw? Here we go. Fourteen points, Leo. He did. If he just RNG'd into a 14 point card, then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. No GG, huh? No, no way, <laughs> not for this guy. Anybody that steals your cards and uh, and then plays like wackadoo stuff like that, as Beardy says, some people uh, deserve GGs, other people don't. Sorry, <laughs> have a nice day. I seen he had that, uh, that game where he was playing where he had to, like, GG somebody in a row or something like that. Okay. Oh, no, he had a stream recently that was, uh, the GG challenge, so he had to GG everybody through the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, like, yeah, that's what, uh, uh, Beardy likes that kind of stuff, but yeah, I hope you like the deck. See, it, it, it's 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 a good bit of fun, you know. Like I said, it's not gonna like once the, the, it, this deck here in particular is one of those ones that you hold on to, right? Right. Because you look at it from top to bottom and you go, what in this deck is gonna get nerfed? And really, the only card that you're like you're really worried about getting nerfed is most likely Kira Mets, right? Right. So the rest of the deck, though, is quite strong. So, you know, there is a possibility once they nerf Fultist and uh, DJ that uh, this deck could end up being pretty strong. Yeah, right? I could see it. It, it definitely, uh, if you don't have the answers for the, for the guys, I mean, it, it's just a lot of points. Even what Usurper, it was, you know... What did we have? We had 17, 21 points off those cards. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even get Hensalt, and you still got what? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's value, right? It's, it's it's value as opposed to you know uh, just flopping something on. It's all about this deck is all about value, right? And I think that's one thing you can learn from Green Knight's deck building is that he always thinks about the value to the card in, in every matchup. So, you know, uh, yet again, you know, another deck that may not be, like, uh, super OP, but it's definitely strong, and it could, could, like, let's just say could, like, you know, the kind of italics, you know, that... Yeah, air quotes. Um, yeah, <laughs> air quotes, you know, could end up being very strong if, as the season progresses. We'll see. Right. Yeah, but that's the video for today, guys. Uh, Shadows, thanks for stopping through, brother. Um, we gotta we gotta yeah, record yeah, sure. some more, man. We gotta do some more videos. Yeah, definitely. I'd uh, I'd love to do that, man. I've had, it's been the last video we did was way, 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 way back, and <laughs> that was Radovid. What was it? Radovid? Was it Radovid Shoop? What was it that that was that deck that I played? The Radovid deck. It was way a while back. ago, man. It was, oh like you man, said, it was like fourteen months ago. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that was even beyond fourteen months ago. We might be pushing like a year and a half or two years ago on that video. So right. it's glad to, be, uh, you know, I'm really glad to be back and uh, um, keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, all of us here at TLG, like. Uh, you know, we uh, hundred percent got your back and love having you a part of the team. And uh, I think it uh, really goes to show, like people out there in the community. I just want to say this before he cancels; uh, it just stops the video. This guy has been putting his heart and soul into this game for this community uh, since day, you know, nearly day one. And um, I think like more people need to be coming here, and more people need to be showing uh, Double D some love. He really does this out of the goodness of his own heart. And, you know, again, we really love having you a part of the team, man. 
thanks for doing what you're doing for yeah, us. And for I'm just community. glad you keep me around, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I sure as fuck ain't no pro player. And, uh, people in the comments definitely let me know. So. Uh, listen, I'm not a pro player either. So, guys, you know, y'all are watching two, uh, you know, ranked ladder folks, you know, uh, hang out here. You know, I have don't have a ton of time uh, to do what I do. Uh, you know, I think that really it's all about the love of the game. And if the love of the game's there, you know, uh, that should really trump everything, in my opinion. Like, yeah. If you're really putting in something to it, you're putting your heart into it. You know, that says something. So yeah, yeah. I, I tell everybody my um, my gameplay isn't pro rank, but my my love for Gwen is definitely pro rank. So <laughs> you know, yeah, for but, sure. Yeah, that's but a video. Appreciate you having me, man. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, thanks for coming through. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.